expect to wake up to hate. But that's what students say happened at a Kennesaw State student dorm. The N-word spray painted inside the hallway of an indie apartment. Atlanta News First reporter Tori Cooper in Kennesaw tonight outside of the off-campus dorm. So Tori, what are students telling you? I was, I was very hurt and it made me feel very unsafe living here. Kennesaw State students like senior psychology major Ania live on the third floor of this off-campus student apartment complex. And students say this morning they woke up to this hateful word plastered on the wall outside of their dorm rooms. The slur that was on the wall, I was absolutely disgusted. I was upset and not only offended in it, but a little disappointed in the fact that this was even allowed to happen. The lack of security is what enabled this type of behavior to occur. Several students told Atlanta News First they were shocked someone would spray paint the N-word in an off-campus dorm like the Indy Apartments where so many black students would have to live with the image until crews cleaned it up. The Indy is advertised as an upscale student housing and for the money that's being paid, I just think this is very unacceptable. We have a lot of safety concerns now. The Indy Apartment Management team told Atlanta News First the N-word in the hallway has since been covered up and they filed a police report with the Cobb County Police Department. But students say police may have trouble catching a culprit because the apartment complex refused to install cameras despite requests from students prior to the incident. We've asked for cameras to be implemented in the um, parking garage and in the hallway several times. They did put a few um, cameras within certain spots of the parking garage. But students say the cameras installed in the parking garage weren't up to par to assist in any investigations. Now students are calling on the Indy Apartments to do more to shield students from hateful slurs like this. The issue is making sure that we find out who did this and then being held accountable for it. And until they do, I don't see as if management is their job. That was Tori Cooper reporting. The Cobb County Police Department has since responded. They told Atlanta News First that they have not gotten any information regarding this incident yet. They're checking with their criminal investigation unit to see if anybody else filed this report.